hi and welcome to the third in my analog photography basic series where we've been looking at film loading in our third episode we're going to be looking at large format film and we're going to be looking at how to load that into dark slides uh, ready for when you go out and do a shoot using large format and um, so this here is the film we're talking about this is some 5x4 sheet film it's called or large format film it's HP5 um, film similar to what we've been using in all the other series and this is what it, the box it comes in if you buy it large format and you buy the Ilford stuff uh, and inside you get boxes of 25 50 sheets of this film we're going to look at those in the tutorial and we're going to look about how you take one of these sheets of film load them into the dark slides so you're ready to shoot and then you can go out and start exploring the world of large format film photography. Let's get straight into showing you how to load these things up so you can get shooting. Okay, loading large format film. This would be done in total darkness. Um, for the purposes of the video, we're obviously going to do it in daylight so you can see the process. Um, but when the time comes for you to do this yourselves, you've got to do this in the total darkness, otherwise you will fog and destroy your very expensive large format film. So to do this, uh, what you've got to do is you're going to need a couple of things. Firstly, you're going to need a box of sheet film. This is 5.4 film from Ilford and it's HP 5 Plus. Now, don't worry about me completely ruining this film by doing this demo video. This is just a demo box that we've got of some old pieces of film which have been fogged or processed and things haven't worked out with them. And so we're going to use that just to illustrate the video. But you'll need some sheet film. You'll need one of these, which is a dark slide, which is what you load the film into. And we have a number of these. Um, and you take as many dark slides out as you want to shoot with your large format camera. Each dark slide holds two shots. Uh, some other optional things that you may want to have is maybe a rocket blower to blow some air out, uh, blow the dust off one of these. Some people use a little low power vacuum cleaner. Um, I'm going to use for the purpose of our video an anti-static cloth. So these three things are what you're going to do. Now, so this is the process that you would take for loading up a dark slide before you go out and do your shoot. So we're in our processing room. Lights will go off, so we're going to be in total darkness. And what we've got to do is take our large format film. We're going to open the box. And inside that box, there's another little box. And flip it over to the bottom of the box and lift the bottom of the box off and then inside that box is a little black bag just like you get in your normal darkroom paper so we're going to open that and take the trays out little boxes we keep to the side for now to put back then you're going to open up the black bag take reach inside and take out a little cardboard wallet and inside that when you open it up is your large format film so these are some sheets of old large format film which are past the point of saving now so if in for this, the purpose of this video this light has now just completely destroyed this film but these are long long gone fogged pieces of film so what we'd do with these if this was real film is we're gonna feel and pick up one of the sheets of film now large format film is quite useful by the fact that there are these little tiny notches on the top of the film and these are coded for the different sorts of film that you can buy so your large format film here shows you that the Ilford HP 5 Plus film the, co the notches for it are like that so you can see we have a deeper notch a little notch and then another notch and that lets you know that you're holding 400 ISO HP 5 film all the different brands have got different notches so you know which ones they are and there's a chart up in the processing room to help you figure out which one you're holding but it's very useful obviously I'm working dark 
to be able to know what it is. And it should always try and be on the top right. With the top right, you know that if you can feel these notches in the top right of the film, the emulsion side of the film, the photosensitive side, is facing up. The other side is the plastic film protection, which isn't photosensitive. So you want to make sure that it's the emulsion which is facing the subject when you take the shot. So we're just going to put these to the side for the moment and bring in the dark slide. Now the dark slide has got two little pull out bits and some little notches at the top. They can spin around to lock in place the dark slide. But what we're going to do is loosen the notches for the one and then you pull back the first bit of the dark slide like that and you open up the little flap at the end. So at this point, if you've got your rocket blower, you can give it a spray, make sure there's no bits of dust in there. Before you come into the dark room and open the paper, you'll have your whole selection of dark slides that you want to hold, what you want to load. And it's good to give them a clean in the light so you can check, but this is what you do. Just check that there's no dust anywhere where the film is going to go, like that. It's worthwhile flipping them over to make sure there's no dust or any bits on the back of the dark slide. A tip that I'd advise you all to do is you, when you work in the dark, avoid taking the whole bit of the dark slide out. You do that when you're taking the shot. But for loading, try and keep it so it's not quite all the way out. So if you pull it back, and it's like that originally, if you pull it back and open the flap, just take that and just gently push it until your finger touches the top of the dark slide to save it falling out. And I'll tell you about why in a second. So once you're in that position, you're gonna reach, take your piece of film, check that the notches are on the top right and you've got it in your right hand so the emulsion is facing out. And then you just take the piece of film, place it on the dark slide, and there are some two little tracks either side of the dark slide that you want to make sure the film goes underneath. So you just take it, place it low, and it's just going to push it in. Put it Once it goes flat, push it so you can't push it up anymore. And then another tip is if you put your finger very gently, and make sure that you've got clean fingers, on the tip of the film and just push it back a bit, you'll hear it clicking. And that means it's just safely over these blockers. And so once that's done, you can close the lid push the top of the dark slide back under, flip it over, and you're ready to load the other side of the dark slide. So let's do it again. Check that the notches are down so you can lift it up. And why we're gonna pull it out a part of the way is on our dark slide here, we've got two white lines. The white line is an indicator once you've loaded them to let you know it's an unexposed dark slide. In the video we do where we actually show you how to use the large format camera and how to put these in the camera, uh, we'll go into a bit more detail. But what, you'll ha what would happen is if you're doing the exposure, when it's in the camera, you pull the dark slide all the way out and you'd have your film here, take the shot. Once the, fill, the shot has been taken, you flip the dark slide over so you have the black line and slide it back in. So that means that when you're looking in your bag to take out one of these cameras, two white slides is an unexposed, a white and a black is an exposed one. So if you're doing the second shot, it goes into your camera. When you're ready and you set up, you take the dark slide out. There's your piece of film, the light's falling on to expose the shot and the picture's taken. Once the exposure's ended, You would take the dark slide, flip it over, and place it like that. So then you'd know you've got one fully exposed dark slide. You only want to be lifting these dark slides out when this slide is in the back of the camera to stop exposing. You don't just want to check when you're out in the field. So to load again, place it down. Let's just reset it back 
to how it was. So it's on the ground here. We're going to pull the knock slide back, just give it a little push to the end to make sure that it doesn't fall out. Open the flap at the end, take our anti-static cloth, just check there's no bits of dust in there. And the reason we do this, or we do a rocket blower, or even a vacuum cleaner, as opposed to just taking them and blowing on them ourselves, is you don't want to get any moisture, so if you're blowing out, you don't want to get any water droplets from your mouth onto your film as it will affect the film. So, open the back up, reach over, take out another piece of film, feel for the notches. So, top right in our right hand, hold the slide back, place it into the dark slide, just push it along Check it's locked in, close the flap, push the dark slide in, and there you have a fully loaded dark slide. And at that point you'd st stack that to the side, bring in a fresh dark slide and load it again. So you can have four shots, do another one, so you can have six shots. And once you've got these all loaded up, you keep them in your kit bag. Once they're all loaded up, you keep them in your kit bag and then you are ready to go out with your large format camera and take some shots. Put these all to the side when you're done. And then when you've finished uh, loading all the film that you want, it's time to pack away the rest of the film. Now sometimes, depending on if you're, borrow, if you're using one of ours and someone else may have used them before, they may have put the film the wrong way. So the notches are on the other side. It's not a big problem if they have. Just always remember that when you open the flap up, and you pick up the film and you're feeling for notches in the film just make sure that you always have them in your right hand at the top right notch and that means you'll always have the emulsion side facing out so to pack away film close the cardboard wallet take the black packet Slide it back in, fold it over, take your black tray, pop it back in, and then the bottom one, if you can, they'll only fit in one way, but if you're unsure as to which one, if you run your nail over the back of one, the bottom of the actual pack has a sticker on, so if you feel that, you know that's the bottom. Place that on the bottom. Then flip it over, take the lid, seal it back up. If you've got a little bit of tape, it makes sense to tape it back down because you don't really like to leak on this because large format film is quite expensive. So you want to try and keep it safe. And once you've got your film packed away, all the dark slides you need loaded, you are good to go out and start shooting. Okay, so I hoped that helped you and it was acted as a nice instructional um, guide to show you how to load these things up before you go out to shoot. It can be quite tricky the first couple of times you do it, but just like most things, um, the more you practice, the better you'll get. And you can load up as many of these as you've got. Every dark slide you've got is two shots. As many dark slides as you have, you can put them in your kit bag and take as many shots as you need to go out and shoot. And in another video, we'll be looking at actually large format cameras themselves and how to load these in and how to set them up. And um, so today was just to show you how to get these loaded up so you can go out and shoot. Uh, and you're really in for a treat when you get to large format photography because if you thought 35mm was great, it is a brilliant format to use. And then you go up to medium format and you think, wow, this quality has got even better. When you get to this stuff, it's going to blow your mind. The quality and the size of the negative, you're going to get some absolutely stunningly, beautifully detailed shots. Um, I hope that this first series of videos, where we've been looking at different sorts of film loading, has helped you. In the coming series, we're going to look at processing the films, we're going to look at printing the films in the dark rooms, and how to use bits of dark room equipment. So keep checking back if you're interested in your analogue photography. And I hope that's helped. Until that time, keep going out, keep shooting film, and I hope you enjoy it. See you next time.